It's Marco and Jeets on X1075. Here's your boob tube. Ransom is in the boob tube studio. What's going on, Ransom? Maybe someone will pop up and fight Cormier last minute. Stranger things have happened. That is a quote from USC President Dana White. Uh, of course, uh, shortly after the shocking news that John Jones has been scrapped from UFC 200, uh, guess who's uh, throwing his hat into the ring right now? Michael Bisbing. Wasted no time putting his hat into uh, into the ring. He actually took to Twitter huh. right after the news happened. He says, two months, two weeks, two days. Hmm, middle versus light heavy. I stand by my words. I'll do it. Stranger things have That's, happened. You know so. what? That's interesting. This could that happen. That is interesting. Does he live in Vegas? Bisbing, no. I think he lives in uh, the UK. He's a Brit. Yeah, no, I know that. I, I God, I've... Felt like he had a house in Vegas. He could have. Yeah. If he if he does, I, I'm not aware of that. But uh, Bisping does have a clean bill of health, and he's actually already in Las Vegas for sport, uh, Fox Sports media outlet duties. Yeah, all right, so that's what I'm saying. So he's already here. He's already here, yeah. I mean, that's just like, uh, yeah. So it makes sense. Makes sense, right? He's probably not uh, putting a needle in his ass. He's got, like you said, the clean bill of health. Plus, as we uh, talked about a little bit earlier today on uh, – a jock center. I mean, like it would just be sad if Cormier's put in all this training. If he doesn't get a payday out of this, like that would suck. We should uh, we should tweet um, some of these prospective guys and try to get them on. See if they'll come on and talk about it. Because at this point, they're just lobbying. You know, they're trying to get Dana White's attention. You know, because at this point, who is going to sell? Who's going to save this and sell some pay per views? Who's going to buy some tickets? That's what it's all about. That's what this is all about. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, Conor McGregor, that would actually be the mecca, the pinnacle, probably not going to happen. But let's not take it off the table right. completely. That could be an exciting option. Conor McGregor. Huh. You know what the, you know what the, the best thing would be is you got to get the pay-per-view. They're, they're going to announce it on pay-per-view, who they're going to fight. But you have to buy the pay-per-view first. <laughs> and once they announce it, you can't buy any more pay-per-views. <laughs> No, they that would be great. Stiff. No, no, no. It'd have to be somebody decent, you know, but that would be the way to do it. We're going to announce it, but after the pay per view deadline's over. Oh, man. You'd have to buy it. You'd have? How would you? I mean, you'd have to buy it. The intrigue would kill you. What's next, Ransom? It's good. MSNBC was reporting on a uh, Hillary Clinton rally on Tuesday. They tried to cut to a reporter on the scene, but instead they cut to an audio feed of You Make My Dreams Come True by Hall & Oates. Now, (laughs) when they tried to fix it, it happened again. We've got the audio right here. That's where NBC's Andrea Mitchell is standing by, Andrea. what has just happened that is indeed hall and oats and not andrea <laughs> mitchell we have plugged into the indeed. sound system in the room let's go across the state to oh i'm being told we're going to try andrea mitchell yeah, give again. It another andrea. shot <laughs> again oh, no. hall and oats let's go to raleigh north carolina <laughs> sure why not you know hell go to every state you want it's all hall and oats i love how the reporter <laughs> voice never leaves not even a chuckle or acknowledge it's just well, that was clearly Hall and Oates. We will now try. Tapped into the musical feed in the building. Well, that's so, what, that's because Brian Williams is a professional, guys. A professional, yeah, absolutely, absolute prof- The video is great. It's up on the uh, Marco and Jeets <laughs> Facebook page. You guys get a moment today to go check it out. Marco, it may be time for you to resubscribe to Netflix, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, we got a new series know. coming up. I don't know, man. I'm very bitter about these two dollars extra they want a month. I'm very you, man, bitter. This new series that comes out later this month looks awesome. It's called Last Chance You. It's about an East Mississippi community college. It's a small school with a football program that quietly churns out future stars. Here's the trailer. The first time I came here, when I crossed those railroad tracks, you see this football stadium. Very dramatic so far. I yeah. like it. Guys from Division One who had been in trouble, fails a drug test, flunks out of school who disappeared for a couple years and then show up again at Alabama or the New England Patriots. This is where they come from. Now, I want to hear some names. Let's go! Yeah. Ransom, Ransom, you said where future stars get churned yeah, out. did Aaron Rodgers go to this place? Basically, you're becoming a psychic, right? Because Tom Brady went there. No, he didn't. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any it's names a... in front of me. Maybe I should have, but... I like, uh... I like the drama. Yeah, I mean, it it's great. very well done, so... So these are basically criminals, reform criminals, trying to get their 
<laughs> right. This is like this is the plot to the longest yard, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, school Troubled isn't for kids. everybody, but these kids are like really, really great athletes. So they had their chance at you know a Division One school. They screwed it up because they didn't go to class. Now they get to go to this uh, community college to kind of you know get back on track. It's a six part series that's going to be available on Netflix I starting do, on do. July 29th. I like the premise. I like the premise because yeah. I like uh, football. Well, no, I, yes, I do like football, actually. But um, what was it, Undrafted? I kind of like the stories yeah, of the guy. Yeah, was really good, too. Yeah, so it sounds like this could be on, on that level. Sure, it's a redemption story and but all the hard work to worth, get back. Is it worth two whole dollars $2 a mm. month? Is it worth uh, 200 pennies a month? I don't Pay know. Pay the nine bucks and then cancel it when you're done, Marco. I like the sound effects. I mean, it's... Well, that I'm right there right could now. be worth. That right there could be two dollars. That right there makes me want to put a helmet and some pads on right now. It's very pep rally, you know. It gets me going. Yes. It's like when you walk into the bar and you see that really hot chick and she's <laughs> alone. <laughs> yes. All right, ransom. You talk me into it. Two bucks. I'm in. Uh, Thursday TV reminder, speaking about uh, football, NFL star Vernon Davis is going to be a guest judge on BattleBots. That is tonight, 8 p.m. on ABC. BattleBots is still on. It's awesome. It's good. BattleBots is great. These are kids who build robots and they fight each other, right? Yeah, so these kids are like robotic. Uh, they they went to like some robotic They're like school. science nerds. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. But what they do is they build these robots that have weapons on them, and then they fight against each other, uh, remote control style. It's awesome. It's a great they, show. They should spice it up, you know, tonight. Battle bot. <laughs> then yeah. maybe I'm in, you know. R2D2. When nerds collide. I don't know. All right. Is that it, Ransom? Jeets is going to be excited for this. More Big Brother tonight. Yes! It is eviction night. 9 p.m. It on is. CBS. Oh, no. Someone's getting the boot. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then we get a. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It's, it, it's what night? It's eviction night. Tell you a good sound effect to make you watch anything. Then we also have the Spartan Ultimate Team Challenge tonight, 9 p.m. <laughs> on NBC. It is the Spartan Team Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the way next. More show poll calls <laughs> and your chance to win. Life is beautiful, Pat. Marco and Jeets, it's X1075.